what is the deal youtube it's your boy runaway ron back to y'all with another video man and um yeah uh this is just a real just on the spot organic authentic type of video but i just wanted to come on uh come on here and tell y'all you know just how a guy been feeling and all that you feel me i don't think i have enough of those you feel me um aside from the videos i already do but man 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 i just been like lately lately recently i can't even tell you how long because it's just so funny it's just, it's just been it's been a little while i ain't gonna cap you feel me every day uh just the things i see the information i already know how i carry myself how i view the world um and just reality in itself man it just reinforces what i already know and what i already see and what i experience and just to wrap that around, you know, recently I just been in a real, I don't even want to put it like that. My outlook on just reality is just a little, uh, I don't know. It's just a little, I don't know, pessimistic, dull, real gray. That's how I could describe it because it's really hard to describe, you know, just, just the reality of everything, you know, um, been feeling real disconnected. You feel me? Just from people in itself. Um, yeah. Disconnected. Disconnected. Uh, shoot. And don't even get me started on women. You feel me? I don't even. Man. You know. Um, so, yeah. That's just how I've been feeling, man. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just, I think I'm just in a phase of like, like real, like a phase of just accepting like reality. Like it's one thing to accept a situation, but it's another thing to accept just reality a hundred percent. Like we already know reality, but just accepting, like I kind of already have like a preface a idea of how my life is going to go slash is going you know because it's already it's already going how it's going does that make sense like i already kind of know what the projection i i i really do believe this is how i've been feeling i really do believe i know like to some extent maybe i don't see the whole vision maybe i just see a glimpse in the light whatever it may be but i do have an idea of how my life is gonna be you know and why i've been feeling disconnected is because my life has reflected that that's why i feel like that and, you know, just always knowing that I'm being 1% better by the day, you know, every day I feel like I'm getting more and more disconnected because I'm, I'm not the same. I'm never the same. I'm always growing. I'm always evolving. And, you know, I talk to people. I go in the world experience. Um, I go to social events, not social events, but like social environments, right? Like bowling alley. Uh, events for sneakers and stuff like that and everything of that sort and i talk to people in it and, 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 and like when i have these conversations um it's just so surface level bro like it's just so surface level you probably like well how deep could it get how deep could it get if you just met them in this spot whatever the case may be that's not even my point. It's just how the conversation is. Certain words they say, when they say it, it tells a lot. How you articulate your words, you know, how you're able to express and describe your ideas and what you're trying to get across, right? And it could be as little as something as negotiating or talking about this shoe or that. The reason I'm using shoes because I was just recently at a sneaker convention, um, sneaker con, actually. It was lit as fuck. Um, and yeah, man, it just is like, yeah, like, like, I, you don't even, you don't even know, bro. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing, bro. You don't. But yeah, disconnected, man. And you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm going to touch on this topic because, you know, really just being real myself, being comfortable with myself every day not having the fear of being judged on what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Um, really been feeling disconnected, like, with just women in general. Like, I don't know what you want to call it, but, like, you know, talking to girls or whatever. Um, 
it's just so you know it's hard that's why i have the friends that i have because we're so like-minded we so so relatable that's what i've been I, I feel like i have no relatability with anybody that's how i've been feeling like i can't relate to nobody that's how i've been feeling i feel like i can't relate to nobody you know and i and especially with women i really like man these past few months let's just say this whole year bro i didn't dealt with some dodo birds bro that's what me and my cousin say dealing with these dodo birds bro just not just not there man just not there i don't know what you want to call it um the conversations are ugh, the interactions are ugh. and i can only be me which is another thing uh There you go. It's funny how the brain works. You know, if you heard me talk about that, but I can only be me, right? And in these conversations, these interactions, getting to know people, uh, it's almost like because you haven't seen as much as I've seen, we can't even talk about those things, if that makes sense. Like, without experience, how much do you truly understand or can truly relate? And that's my biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I don't even really care. Like, um, really, I'm ready to get out the game. I mean, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. You feel me? <laughs> but it's like, it's like, coach, put me in. Coach, take me out. Whatever you want to do, coach. I really, I don't, I don't have no feelings towards it. I don't have no feeling towards it. Whether you put me in or sit me, I'm gonna have the same, <laughs> the same feeling. You feel me? Um, and yeah, yeah, disconnect, disconnect. Uh, my whole life has been a representation of being disconnected. You know, I think about high school, the people I was talking to, the people I was hanging out with, and I remember the interactions, how they treat me stuff like that how i how i fit in in certain friend groups or certain environments and i'm not even saying fit in like someone's trying to fit in let me say this the role i play in certain friend groups certain environments and you know it's funny because when you in the moment and you're experiencing these things you never really realize you really don't really know until it kind of like goes behind closed doors right like for example you have all these friends during this during the school year but then, you know, y'all get out of school and summer's kicking around. You don't hear from nobody. Nobody's inviting you nowhere. The people you thought you were still going to be talking to, you don't. Yeah, the next school year starts and you right back clicked up. But it just goes to show, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm trying to put down? So it's just a lot of that. Um, and I realize, I realize, I've been self-reflections that I never truly fit in. Which isn't a bad thing. I don't think of it as a bad thing, but it's just a realization. Like, yeah, I never really truly fit in. You feel me? Um, it was always fake. It was always fake. Shit, even when it came to basketball, um, people I hung out with in school, shit, women. Um, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And just so you guys know, have a preface. Anybody from high school, I have no communication with. The only people that I have communication with are the people that I've been new and been talking to throughout high school, which are my best friends, you know, which pretty sure you got best friends that you, you know, like no matter what was happening, what was going on, we, you know, people found time to communicate, hang out, kick it because like I said, we're relatable. Um, they understand me, you know. They've experienced what I've experienced. They've seen what I've seen. They have the same views as I as I do. And it's not even the same views. It's just they have the views of what reality really is in this life. So, you know, um, I'm not going to sit here and ramble too much. You feel me? Uh, that's just how I've been feeling. Uh, and, yeah, you believe anything you tell yourself, man. I always say that. So, you know, just being out, it just kind of kills it. Kind of, Kind of kills it. Like... Like, I'll be, I be enjoying myself, but just, like, always having that thought, like, yeah, like, like, when it comes to social interactions, whether it's a fucking lady at the gas station, shit, a mutual friend, someone I know, a friend of a friend, you know, it kind of just is like, 
Where is this really going to go? Are we really relatable? Shit. Not even worried about what they're thinking, but... <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that because I really don't give a fuck. But, yeah, it just be stuff like that, man. But, you know, um, I never let that stop me from doing anything, how I feel about certain things. I just take it for what it is, and I keep it pushing. Literally is that. So, you know, I'm going to end it on that tangent. Um... Be ready for another video. But actually, you can't be ready if you're not subbed and you're not hitting that bell. So, yeah, man, y'all stay easy. It's time for me to run out of here. Go on.